Well, hello everyone and welcome to a bit of a different video because we are saying goodbye to a boat. Well, actually, this is a two-part video because we're saying hello and we're saying goodbye we today. We said hello in June yep. and now we're here in October and we're saying goodbye to the Frank and Lena Clifford of Stour Bridge. Just there. Mersey class number 1215. So yeah, change over year um, here in Newquay for the uh, lifeboat, the RNLI. So uh, here is some footage of uh, when the new boat arrived back in June, 25th mm -hmm. of June, when it was, um, yeah, it was a lovely day, real carnival atmosphere. So, yeah, and um, we'll tell you a little bit more about the lifeboats, history of lifeboats in Newquay and so on. Um, but, but now we've got to rush because we've got to get on a boat. Go and get on a boat. We're going to film from boat. a boat. It's going to be quite an interesting day. So here we go. So there we go, they are manoeuvring the boat out. A Mersey class? She's a Mersey class. Um, you can tell she's a Mersey class because there's a 12 at the beginning of her number. At the front of her, you can see mm -hmm. 12, 15. So 12 relates to her being a Mersey and 15 relates to the, she was the 15th one built. Ah, and when did she arrive in Nuki? 1992. Blimey, so she's served a long life years here. 31 of service, quite incredible yeah. really. So there we go. Brave lifeguard crew aboard for the last time. Also incredible is the fact that we're going on the Ermol, which is owned by Winston. And here, here comes the Ermol. How perfect timing. In. Yeah, where is she? <laughs> She's just yeah, she is just behind those rocks. So we better go over there and get on the boat. Yes, owned by Winston, who was the youngest coxswain actually. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Launching for the last time in Newquay. Just starting to move. <laughs> it's going to come quite a long way out before um, it's actually in the water. Not got that balance. <laughs> that's got, go for it. That's got falling off written on Alan. Give it a go. Sorry, Miss Hubner is just getting a, a bit of height so she can get a photo herself. Float. The final launch 
from Nuki. And here is the new boat, the Shannon class, saying, Nuki is mine. I think she also came with the advent of a new lifeboat house as well. Ah. So there was a lifeboat That's house a lifeboat in 1903 or 1904. Mm -hmm. uh, 1992 brought a new lifeboat house. As well, well as these, that is a big old lifeboat. Pardon? It's a big old lifeboat. Day for that. A top by the Teen Peninsula. Well, there you go. The Frank and Lena Clifford will be for sale. I love the angle. Well, you got the uh, Shannon following it. six today and that's a bit of a momentous one for us isn't it well yeah because we went on one of our first dates on this boat yeah <laughs> yeah almost well no over four over years over four years ago now Gosh, so yeah. yeah look at our lovely shot yeah we just moved our position but yeah we had a date on this boat four years ago magnificent Skipper was just telling us that the new one apparently uses hydrojets uh, to um, propel itself rather than a conventional propeller. So, uh, conventional propeller on the Mersey. Uh, this one could get into much shallower water. So, a good upgrade. Nuki has had to fight hard to get a Shannon class. They did want to de rate um, Nuki and give us just a smaller sort of Atlantic, Atlantic class. Too, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, thank goodness we've got the Shannon. It just allows Nuki to be much more flexible in the sort of jobs it can do. You also just mentioned that um, the Mersey and the Shannon are so on about two and, uh, two and a half metres of water, but uh, the Mersey is 70 centimetres under the water line. It could be, and uh, the, the Shannon could be 70 centimetres and the Mersey a metre. Oh god, so the Shannon could do 27 knots as well. Oh, look at that. So the boat we're on, the um, Ermol, you can find at uh, nukiboattours.co.uk is I think the website. Uh, we have paid for our ticket, we're just mentioning that because they do lovely tours. We have seen dolphins from this we boat have. before. We have oh, that's a bit of an extreme close-up. Baby seal. We saw a baby seal, yeah. yeah. But uh, obviously a lot comes down to luck, what's about. But we but do get dolphins out in the harbour here behind us, in Cardigan Bay, and porpoise as well. But this is no, a different route. Last sound off. Different route today for this very reason. Yeah, historic moments.
break from the airmole as we're um, trying to intercept the lifeboats as they come past. and off she goes. Seals on the rock, there's I'm struggling to focus on those. And there's several there. How many crew counts? Three. We've got one. There we go. We haven't seen any dolphins, but we have seen seals. Fifty horsepower engines, which is why she can get a fair lick on as she is there. There it is. Uh, a new one. So yeah, there's the recovery kit. About a million and a half's worth of kit. impressive bit of kit. Just carrying the boat casually down to the water. There it goes into the water. You are absolutely not obsessed with this thing, are you, dear? Oh, no. That must be such a cool feeling, though. So, yeah, the boat, uh, about two and a half million pounds. The launching craft, about one and a half million pounds. Bargain. Bargain. <laughs> yeah, hugely important thing here in Nuki. The RNLB Roy Barker 5. I'm trying to think what the maintenance costs are on something like that. So 
So, yeah, a, a significant um, thing here in uh, Newquay. It's massively significant. We've had a lifeboat since 1868. Uh, it was brought in due to a massive storm where there were six rescues, mm -hmm. which is incredible. Yeah. Um, it's a seafaring town, so it's, it's something that's really essential. In 2017, it was put under threat when they said they were discontinuing the Merseys yeah, and taking them out times. of service. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that would have left a massive gap all up the coast. Mm. Um, not covered by ALBs, ALB being an, um, an all-weather lifeboat. They were going to give us an Atlantic, which is an inshore lifeboat, which we do use, we do have a D-class, we do use it, um, but we need an all-weather lifeboat. Um, so there was much campaigning. I just showed you what's going on here. Yeah, just there was much, swing. much campaigning um, to bridge the gap, and suddenly it was decided that we would have a Shannon. Um, the other problem was that they didn't think our lifeboat house was big enough. Uh, they would have needed a new lifeboat house as well as the new lifeboat and new talus and everything. Well, it somehow um, made it all fit, I guess. Yeah, have you talked about the uh, incredible power of the Shannon? Oh, yeah, 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 the engines have been mentioned. You did mention Twin two. 650 yeah, yeah. horsepower engines, yeah. <laughs> Somebody got very excited at that point. But a good point to note about the RNLI is that it is funded by um, charitable donations and also it is run by volunteers. Yeah. The people here are volunteers. Um, they do go out on operations every Monday and Thursday, and uh, it's quite incredible what they do. Mm. And so, if you can support the RNLI, it's a great charity to support. But yeah, goodbye to our Mersey, who yeah. did 31 years of service, 219 calls, and saved 21 lives. An impressive record. Mm -hmm. At a cost of a mere £300,000. Oh yeah, cheap by <laughs> comparison, I guess. But uh, yeah, and now, hugely important. Hello to RNLB Roy Barker 5. Yeah. And as I mentioned before, 13 because she's a Shannon class. And 48 she's a 48th Shannon. There she comes, got to hose everything off now. Constant battle against um, salt water, of course. And that's actually a really good point. If we, you notice these guys in the high vis, these are what's known as the shore crew. If you were to join and volunteer, if you're not great with your sea legs, you don't have to be on the boat. You can be on the shore crew. Yeah, yeah. Still important duties to Absolutely do. Absolutely, just as important. <laughs> Sorry, he's just caught that guy with the hose. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> he got overexcited with his hose. Oh dear. It's easily done. But yeah, it's been a beautiful, in fact, it's more beautiful today than it was in June. Yeah. And we're sat almost in the same spot as we were in June. We are. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. That's been something uh, a bit different uh, to our usual fare. But uh, yeah, this is uh, what it's like in Nuki today. Marvellous. So thank you for watching. Uh, I will leave a link down to the RNLI uh, if you wish to donate and support what they do. Incredibly important. Very minimal government funding. I think 1% of, of their income. Yeah comes from the government, unlike say the ambulance, oh sorry I'm just trying to stop a bit of glare, uh, oh, uh, etc. Also, really forgot that there is um, a bit of a Nuki legend, who's, uh, he is a Nuki legend. Who's okay, I've got to swap cameras for that, bear with. Who's tied oh. to Nuki lifeboat station and actually the Ermol that we were on earlier, and his name is Winston, um, and he became the youngest coxswain at 26 in 1965, and he served until I think the uh, Frank and Lena came in, I think it's wow. until then. And uh, yeah, he is just an incredible human being. And I mention him because I've lived in Newquay for a very long time and we, we've lost a lot of people. So I don't want people to be forgotten. So mm. just uh, not that we're just going anywhere. Yeah, Man's yeah. gonna live forever. But just thought I'd mention him as well. Yeah. But uh, there thank we go. you very much for watching. And uh, it's a gorgeous day. It's ridiculously beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. This is day. like mid-October, mm. crazy. We had some lunch, had some ice cream. Yeah, yeah. Superb. Yeah. Superb. So thank you for watching and we're just going to leave you with this view. No pitchu, just a boat getting a wash. It's almost a pitchu. Mm.